Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson in our final episode on how to become a coach. And I, I don't think you could talk to me, Adam, and the word coaching comes up without me instantly diving into sustainability, business model, messaging, marketing, persona. How are you going to do this? What's your niche? How are you going to survive? Why are people even going to trust you? And I, I instantly go there because after almost 30 years in this industry, literally watching it being born from nothing and then seeing where it is today, it's become so competitive that you really do have to stand out or it's, it's going to be a disappointment. I see a lot of people that want to do this and I have to immediately grab them by the lapels and set them down and say, okay, let's, let's get off the unicorn and the rainbow kick and talk about dollars and cents. And can you really make this work? So, uh, you mentioned earlier in this series that you're surprised. Sometimes you look back at the business you built. Tell me what that's been like. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a lot of fear with, uh, I left uh, basically the job that was keeping me on my feet to um, go into my passion on nutrition coaching along with personal training. Um, and it was a scary ride the first two years. Um, I would never say I've gotten comfortable or content yet, and I think a lot of people would, but I just have this huge passion for um, just, just personal growth for me. So um, once I got to a point where I said, you know, I just cannot take on any more clients, that is where I said, you know what, it's time for me to start hiring coaching. Um, coaching staff. So now, you know, I've had them go through the diet doc and get licensed with you. That's taken a lot of work off of me to allow me to graduate my staff up to a high level of nutrition excellence. And um, that's been huge because I've been able to keep my current clients without having to do a whole lot on the educational side of things. And uh, that's something you have to consider if you're growing coaches under you. It does take time to uh, mentor these coaches and help them with their clients. And uh, I found a really good sweet spot there. But it's just been a slow progression. Um, there's been bumps in the road, you know, um, during COVID-19. I think I got fired every day for the first two or three weeks of the outbreak. And even though it was financial, uh, you know, burdens, it still hurt and it was tough. But, um, you know, it kind of goes back to our last ladder. Like, I had to keep showing up, you know. And uh, it's, uh, it's not always easy. But uh, I can honestly say I've lived one of the best lives I ever could just by doing this because it's something that I'm really passionate about. Well, that, that is huge. And if you're not doing it for value-based reasons, it's going to be a pretty, pretty frustrating ride. And you know, you, you said something that I think everybody should understand, and that is, you know, there, there are two sides to this sword. The sword cuts both ways. Uh, we, you can become a great craftsman. You can understand the nutrition and the coaching craft very well, but it's not, it, it's not necessarily a slight to say, well, I don't really know that lot about business. I've never owned a business. There's a lot of things other people know more than me. So when I started my Apex Coach, business mentorship program last year, I thought this is a huge need. People are going to really gain some value from this. And I've worked with some really great big name coaches like Lauren Conlon, Chet and Natalie Nichols. Uh, you know, I could, I could list more and more, but a lot of these people said, yeah, I'm, I'm doing well in coaching. I love it, but I really don't necessarily understand the business side. And I want to work with somebody who's been there and I've helped really good coaches in, in under a year, quadruple their revenue. I've helped them refine their messaging and really create a business that they can, they can proudly stand behind because it stands out, it stands above everybody else in a very specific niche. So there's just so much that goes into it. And again, it's, it's, it's nothing but a compliment. We've, we've studied nutrition, physiology, all of those things that make us good at what we do. Most people aren't coming into this with, with a lot of business experience, but it, it's incredibly necessary. Yeah, it, it's really huge what, what you've done with this. And uh, a huge part of my business was just you teaching me how to organize all that I had on my plate. And uh, that has made my process very 
fail proof and uh, very efficient as well. So it saves me a lot of time. And uh, people don't understand how much, um, and there's a ton of business coaches out there for this, but like, I'm, I'm going to point to Joe here and say no one has can even pretend to have as much experience as Joe does with this. Uh, he's very humble, but you know he he can really teach you how to run a great solid business and pretty much be fail proof with it. Well, I appreciate that very much, Adam. That's that's humbling, um, and I and I would say back to something we just mentioned earlier, being values based, you know, one of the, I just love to help people. I've got, I've got some young people that I say, uh, you know, you've got everything it takes to be a, a phenomenal coach. You can be a rock star in this industry. And I want people like you to be the ones who lead the next generation. And, and that's why I'm spending all of my time. I mean, that's what I do. That's, that's the entire mission of our company is to equip that next generation. And, uh, you know, you're, you're part of that. Here we are. You're one of our, our you know, first and biggest license owners and, and we're collaborating on things like this. We're going to be uh, announcing a really big project soon, but this was even your idea. And what a, what a testament to you that, uh, that Adam Atkinson said, hey, Joe, let's help great coaches become successful coaches, sustainable coaches. So we wanted to create this series just for you. And uh, so thank you for that idea, Adam. I think it was excellent. I think this is going to help a lot of people. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, just message us, you know, comment on our YouTube videos, anything like this, wherever you see it, contact us directly. But we do want to help you become the best absolute coach you can be for the effectiveness uh, and success of your own clients. That's what's going to help you grow. So thank you guys for watching the series and we'll see you next time in Contest Prep University.